here we go. So, I am going to show you how to make tasty coconutty pasta, pasta, rice, <laughs> that I learned how to make when I worked in a burrito place as a burrito artist. Um, I never measure out rice. <laughs> I almost always make too much. Um, usually you'd wash out your rice, but with this toasted coconut version, you don't need to do that because first, what we're gonna do is turn your hob on, but turn it on quite low. And we're just gonna heat the rice slowly and it'll toast it. Slowly you'll get some color to the rice and it gives it an extra nice flavour and then we rinse it out to get rid of all that starch before adding the water and the coconut. And you will start to see some of the grains in there getting some colour. We just want to get that colour on most of the pieces of rice before we rinse it. Hopefully you can see the beautiful golden toasty colour that the rice has turned and it smells so good. I wish that you could be here to smell it. So you just got to keep it moving around so that none of the rice sticks to the bottom and gets burned. That does happen. It's not the worst thing in the world. If a few pieces get like that, you can rescue it. So don't worry, but you've got to just keep your eye on it and it moving around. And then what we're going to do next is transfer that to a sieve and rinse the starch out of it. So you want it to sort of look like this. <laughs> and then we're going to transfer it to the sieve. You can keep your pan there because we're going to cook the rice in that in a second. And I'll be right back. So I've rinsed off my rice. And I don't know if you can see, I've filled it up, well, I've filled it up to just a centimetre, about a centimetre above the level of the rice in the pan. I don't know if you can really see. So if you put your, you've washed your rice and then fill it up so it covers, the water covers the rice up to about a centimetre. And then to add the coconut flavour, I'm using this creamed coconut which comes in a block I don't know if any of you have used this before it's really cool, it's really cheap and it means that you can use it multiple times and it lasts for ages but if you don't have that you can use tins of coconut milk or you could even use something like this to add the coconutty flavour but it might be quite sweet but it's up to you what you like so I use this block I put chop it up a little bit, put it into the water, and as the water gets warmer, it will dissolve. So put the heat back on. What we want to do is get this rice boiling, the water boiling. Um, so I'm just going to stick a lid on for a little bit until it gets to that point. So when your rice is boiling, you want to take that lid off. Get yourself a spatula, turn that heat down so that your rice is simmering. This is going to give your rice enough time to cook. You can add some salt to the water here if you'd like. Then you just need to stir it up to make sure that all that coconut block has dissolved into the water. And then you can just Leave that to bubble away. This dish goes really well with any leftovers, any stir fry. Um, I'm having curry with it tonight from the freezer. Leftovers. But yeah, you can put this with anything you, that you feel like. So now I've got my sweet potato curry reheating in there, that's from my freezer. The slice is bubbling away, cooking away. 
and I made some bread dough the other day that I recently learned that you can save in the freezer and just heating up the pan and I've rolled this bread dough out to make a little flat flatbread go with the rice um, you can tell the rice is starting to get cooked where it's like leaving little holes in it it's really tempting to stir it but I read somewhere that the best thing to do is to just leave it on really low and it'll cook through more evenly because I know people find rice difficult to cook and that's one of the tips that really helped me so our meal will be all done it only takes maybe 15-20 minutes to toast and cook the rice all the way through so it's nice and quick and easy as well as super cheap almost all of the moisture is out of the rice so I'm just gonna stick that on for about another minute it helps it like steam cook a bit more and not dry out and then I'll turn that off and then this time is just dry and you just heat it up and you can put the bread dough roll it out and put it straight in there if you want to know how to make the bread dough leave a comment or message us and let me know and I can always try and do a video of that so that's just still heating up through there I'm going to turn the heat off on the rice now and leave the lid. Sometimes you can stick a towel, if you've got a clean towel, you can put that in there and the lid on it and it keeps the nice rice nice and moist. But that's up to you. And then you just want to, after a minute or two with the lid on, you can fluff that rice up, give it a cheeky little taste. That's the best bit about being the chef. Mmm, this is kind of the texture of the rice, it's really delicious and coconutty. This is my second flatbread, Ooh. flipping that over, I'm just going to take the lid off my curry a bit. Right, we're almost ready to serve. Right, so now you're ready to serve. Take a chunk of your rice and then whatever you're having with it, like I said, you can have curry or stir fry, whatever takes your fancy. And there we go.